everyone, and welcome to Tahoe Ray Houston's virtual event, Journey to Justice. I'm Maya Shea, and it's been my privilege to cover important news here at ABC 13 Houston since 2002. Now, I've worked in TV stations around the country and covered stories around the world, but there's something really special about Houston. I'm proud to cover Houston for all of you, and of course, it is an honor to be your event host tonight. Throughout this evening, please feel free to share how you're celebrating with us using the hashtag Journey to Justice. We all know we've seen it on television screens, the heartbreaking difficulties that people face when they come to America through the immigration system, through the silent system, especially women, moms, people who have to face violence in their homeland. So Taha Ray really works with these women and changes their lives. Our thoughts are, of course, also with everyone around the country and around the world who are suffering from COVID-19, with all of those risking their lives on the front lines of this pandemic and with the many, many people, including Tahare clients, who are working as essential job, on essential jobs who are deeply impacted by what's been happening in our world these past few months. Now, before we begin, I'd like to say a thank you to our sponsors, because it, without their help, this would not be possible. This includes, of course, the Arnold Ventures, Baker Botts, Centerpoint Energy, our co-chairs, the host committee, the advisory council. You see all that on your screen, and they are all so important. And of course, to everyone in Tahare, survivors, staff alike, who are out there doing groundbreaking work on the front lines every single day, Thank you all so much. Well, we look forward to a time when in-person events are all the rage again tonight. We're excited to present to you a virtual experience that embraces our community, elevates our voices of immigrant survivors of violence, and raises critical funds to support Taka Race work during this pandemic. Now. I promise you it's just as fun. I'm the only one dressed up. Hopefully you're in your comfy pajamas or some uh, on your couch, ready to support a wonderful cause. Tahare's leadership in our community, their versatility, agility, and creativity is really a shining example of their expertise in ending gender-based violence in their unique interdisciplinary model combines free legal and social services with bridge building policy advocacy, as well as training and education rooted in evidence-based research. In short, they are the real deal, the complete package. As a city, we are so lucky to have Taha Ray here. Uh, the organization is committed to standing with our immigrant communities, our fellow Houstonians, as we face a number of challenges, whether taking on the injustices of the immigration system that we see far too often, rebuilding after a hurricane, or weathering the pandemic, we are all standing together. I think many of us are wondering, what can we do to be of service, even from the comfort of our own home? Well, good news, we're here to make sure you can participate. Tonight, we have the opportunity to help from the comfort of our homes, but be just as impactful. We have the chance to show solidarity and support for our immigrant survivors of violence during such a difficult time around the world. By supporting Tahare, you're contributing to Houston's response to the pandemic and putting us in a stronger position as a community to recover. Your investment today plays a central role in helping us provide solutions to the many challenges that Houston immigrant community currently faces. There are lots of ways to interact and support throughout the evening. We promise it will be fun and engaging. For example, we have some amazing, amazing silent auction items. Look at that, five night stay at uh, the Villa Angelica in Phuket for two. We also have Houston Rockets. When they're out of the bubble, they'll be playing right here and you get to go. It includes parking as well as $500 gift cards. So a great deal. To view more auction items, visit bitpal.net backslash journey to justice. You can also use this link to register for this event if you haven't done so already. Or being 2020, you can text journey to justice to 243-725. That's 243-725 to register. And once you're registered, you can bid on amazing silent auction items or donate at any point this evening 
and beyond. Plus, you'll be automatically entered to win a painting, look at that, by Houston artist Patrick Madrano. How amazing. Historically Unreached is the title. So click on the link, get registered now. At the end of the event, someone will win that amazing painting. And we want to thank you for joining us as we continue to fight for justice and really stand with these courageous survivors of violence. Now, to kick off our great program, please welcome celebrated actor, director, filmmaker, dedicated advocate, longtime Tahare friend, and ambassador, and devoted father and husband, Justin's Bal Dani. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for that uh, very kind introduction. My name is Justin, as you heard. Um, where do you even start? First of all, uh, I hope everyone is doing okay. Let's start there. And uh, it's okay if you're not okay. I just wanna say that too. There's so much stuff coming at us from every direction. Uh, I hope we're all being mindful of our social media consumption and news consumption. It can be a, it can be a pretty dark and depressing uh, experience being a human being uh, right now in 2020, but at the same time, I'm so happy to be here for that reason. Because for every terrible news story and for every painful thing that we read, I do believe that there are people and organizations like this one, like the Tahare Justice Center, who are working every day to dismantle the systems and help and save people that need it the most. I've been a supporter of the Tahare Justice Center for years now. Um, and I gotta say, they've always been a light in the darkness for me. And it's, at first it's hard because you read some of the stories and you'll hear about some of these stories tonight and, you, and your heart breaks. But at the same time, as, uh, as Baha'u'llah says, um, my calamity is my providence. Outwardly it is fire and vengeance, but inwardly it is light and mercy. Rumi said, the wound is where the light enters you. And I think that the Tahare Justice Center is very much the light in this wound right now. Um, so uh, I just wanna say, I appreciate all of you for being here. Uh, I'm so grateful that an organization like the Tahare Justice Center exists. I'm excited that you're gonna learn more about them tonight and their beautiful, heroic work in the, the, the heroism of the survivors who are, are fighting and advocating for their own freedom and safety. Um, they are some of the most inspiring individuals that I've met and I believe uh, if you open your heart to them tonight, you'll feel the same way. So with that, uh, the Tahare Justice Center is a Baha'i inspired organization. So if it's okay, I wanna start off with, uh, with a prayer. This is a prayer for humanity. Please join me. Oh my God, oh my God. Unite the hearts of thy servants and reveal to them thy great purpose. May they follow thy commandments and abide in thy law. Help them, O oh God, in their endeavor, and grant them strength to serve Thee. O oh God, leave them not to themselves, but guide their steps by the light of Thy knowledge, and cheer their hearts by Thy love. Verily Thou art their helper and their Lord. Thank you all so much for joining us this evening. And I hope you will continue to support and learn more and donate to this amazing organization. Um, enjoy the evening. It's going to be a beautiful one. God bless you all. In Nigeria, you, when you're a man, you're supposed to subdue the woman. You subdue her so she doesn't raise her hand or do anything. My husband's family thought it's uh, very shameless if uh, uh, I got divorced because uh, 
I, I was like their property. If I go back to Pakistan, then uh, my in-laws are uh, still waiting for me. They will kill me. They want to get my kids. I had a cousin. She was 15 years old. My uncle wants her to get married to a 70 years old man. She said, no, I'm not going to do that. She just told somebody I'm going to run out and go away. Uh, I'm not sure who killed her, but they said my uncle killed her. One of my pastors, she was so concerned that my husband was going to kill me. I had to relocate from Lagos to another state just to hide myself. Because I remember one day he said, I will kill you and I will face the consequences. And of course, if he does that, nobody will do anything to him in Nigeria. And I remember what the police officer told me. He just said, woman, go and, go and respect your husband. I felt so helpless and as if my life you know, had come to an end. I know that some people that are experiencing what I've experienced, I want them to know that there is a way out. The Tahereh Justice Center's mission is to provide justice and bring dignity to the lives of courageous women and girls who are demanding freedom from violence. And for many of these women, they're asked now by a system to prove things that they've tried so long to hide. And if there's an obstacle in our client's path to protection, it's my job to figure out a way to remove it, to reach out to the public, to policymakers, to create broad-based national coalitions, to do whatever it takes to ensure that the change that's needed happens. We're able to take on a lot of cases that many other organizations, including immigration attorneys and nonprofit organizations, would not. And so we're really able to fill a void. We provide holistic service to our clients so that they can find social services, medical services, psychological support and housing so they can rebuild their lives and live a life with dignity. They helped me about food, finding somewhere to live, clothes, everything. I feel good. I work for U.S. military to train them for Afghanistan and Iraq. I love helping people. Because somebody helped me, I think, in my life, and I want to do that to others. That's me. That's my decision. We need many different kinds of resources. We need the generosity of volunteers, but most importantly, we need money so that we can do the work that's required to save their lives. Daddy saved me and saved three girls. So see it that way that you're, you're touching a life. And what is life on this earth if you don't touch somebody else? That was such a moving 15th anniversary video. And really, from that, uh, you see what tonight is all about. It's about giving to this great organization. Now, there are several donation levels that make it easy for you to give. And of course, you can always enter a custom amount. There is really no time like the present. Right now is the time to give. And you can see the levels on your screen. Um, to give you an idea, OK, $500 secures emergency housing for an immigrant survivor and their child fleeing violence. $1,500 will cover the cost of training 200 attorneys from some of the nation's top law firms so they can provide free specialized legal services to immigrant survivors seeking refugee status in the U.S. If you watch the news at all, you know that's such a challenge. And there are more examples listed at bitpal.net backslash journey to justice so you can contribute at whatever level. A housekeeping detail, if you feel moved to give multiple times this evening, whether you're giving and then bidding on a silent auction item or whatever it is you choose, please know that your card will only be charged once at the end of the event. So uh, we know we already have some folks who are donating and we certainly appreciate all of them and all of you. You can see some of their names, Viola, Ron, Cynthia, Lisa, Nas. We certainly appreciate it so far. We have $7,500, but we are just getting started. And we hope you will open 
your wallet from the comfort of your own home. You can see right there the numbers going up. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce a remarkable woman, Tahare Justice Center's founder and CEO, Lady Miller Morrow. It's an honor to be with you tonight. I'm grateful to all of you for joining us and for supporting courageous immigrant survivors of gender-based violence who are now more vulnerable than ever before. My name is Laylee Miller Murrow, and I'm the founder and CEO of the Tahare Justice Center. I'd like to thank everyone in Houston, our staff, our clients, our pro bono professionals, sponsors, and event organizers. This event is possible thanks to you. As many of you know, Tahare's mission is to create a world where all people can be treated equitably and live in safety. Since 1997, we've served nearly 29,000 women, girls, and others fleeing gender-based violence. Last year, we were able to serve over 1,400 immigrant survivors of violence in Houston alone. In the 25 years I've been doing this work, I have never seen a time when the very foundation of our legal protections and justice system were more fragile, when survivors of violence were more vulnerable to exploitation and abuse, and when the organization has had to dramatically shift how it does our work. The barriers to justice immigrant survivors face on a normal day are now multiplied. During this global health crisis, domestic violence rates, along with child abuse rates, are going through the roof. Immigration adjudications are grinding to a halt, leaving survivors stranded in our already overburdened legal system without legal remedies while being held to the same legal deadlines, which the government is refusing to freeze. Most of our clients work hourly wage jobs, which have disappeared, and most of our clients lack health insurance. For immigrant survivors, it is a dangerous time. Right now, our work is absolutely critical. We are fighting alongside survivors harder than ever. As the challenges mount, so too does our resolve to support them in their journey to justice. In these unprecedented times, we have an opportunity to reflect on our purpose, our humanity, our oneness, and to emerge on the other side changed, improved and positioned for a brilliant and redesigned future. Today, we'll hear from staff about how they're working alongside immigrant community members to advocate for their health and their safety, fighting damaging racist policies and standing with survivors who are breaking the cycle of violence. Thank you for joining us on this powerful journey. We forge ahead with your support Please donate generously. We need you. Hi, everybody. I'm Eva LaRue, coming to you tonight from Los Angeles, California. I'm an actress, writer, producer, and some of you might know me from some of my roles on TV, mainly CSI Miami or All My Children, where I had the distinct pleasure of playing very dynamic, strong women. But of course, my most important role is that of mom and of advocate for gender-based equality, because some of the strongest people I have ever met are survivors of gender-based violence that Tahare serves. I'm continually amazed by their resilience and their strength and their courage. They are not only breaking the cycle of violence, but they're making waves in their communities and they're helping to build a world that we can feel very proud to leave our children. I had the incredible opportunity to travel with Tahereh last fall to the Juarez-El Paso border because I wanted to witness in person and for myself what was happening there. And to see people who have fled their countries due to unfathomable violence and torture, only to come to the border where they're being subjected yet again to more emotional, physical, and psychological abuse, waiting to have their asylum, to as asylum seekers. And the most heartbreaking and haunting thing was their hopelessness and the fact that Tahereh can only serve a very small percentage of those people. I'm just so proud to be a longtime supporter of Tahereh because this remarkable organization, to support them is to support our joint future. Because when some of us are struggling, we all struggle. 
let's come together. Let's come together in an equitable and inclusive society that we all know is possible. We need you now more than ever. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ava. It's incredible to see so many of you from around the country and around the world. So continue to share with us on social media from the comfort of your home, hashtag journey to justice. We want to see pictures. We want to see your comments. We want to see how you are participating in our virtual gala with all of us supporting such incredible work. Now, uh, we should be able to see some of the amazing people already joining us. Look at that. Uh, you see them. Uh, you know, I love Twitter. So Please follow me on Twitter. We'll be tweeting about this as well. Jackie, Zania, RK Styles. So talking about what it really means to them. Equality, compassion, and all those other wonderful values. We have an exciting evening of not just social media, of silent auction items, but so many more things. We have an exciting evening in store for you. You'll learn about Tahoe Race, life-changing work from staff who are really on the front lines. We'll celebrate the strength and the resilience of immigrant survivors of violence. And we'll have a whole host of wonderful people joining us later this evening, including Asia, Yanni King Mondeshain, and Parisha Fins Henley, as well as Harris County COVID 19 pandemic recovery czar, Armando Wally, Commissioner Adrian Garcia, as well as somebody you might know, Andy Grammer. Also, don't forget we have some wonderful silent auction items, including. Oh my gosh, the Houston Astros, come on. They are in the playoffs right now. The rooftop cinema experience, wonderful time to go out. Right now is the perfect weather in Houston to be on the rooftop and catch a movie. And remember, you can always donate at any time. Your gift is critical to keeping Tahare's doors open so we can continue to support immigrant survivors of violence during this crucial time. And remember that we have some wonderful, wonderful items. So make sure to donate generously because the Tahare staff is really so uh, dependent on your generosity to make sure they can provide this crucial social services, legal services, and just that holistic approach to make sure they can help the immigrant community. Now, let's find out more about Tahare's groundbreaking work. Hi, my name is Jessica Houghton, and I'm the Tahare Justice Center Houston Office's Managing Attorney. Hi, my name is Tiffany Ross, and I'm the Social Services Program Manager for Tahare Justice Center Houston Office. And I want to take this time to thank you all for your generous support and for taking time to attend our virtual gala. During this time, Jessica and I will take a few minutes to talk about how we all work together in a collaborative way to help our clients. At Tahare, we know our clients have a lot going on in their lives, not just their legal case. The fact that we have social services on staff and that legal team is able to work with a whole person, not just an immigration case, is one of the reasons why I wanted to join Tahare 10 years ago. Our clients have a lot going on and they're a lot better equipped to work with us, to work on their declaration, to gather supporting evidence, to make decisions about their case when they're not worried alone about the medical needs that pop up, enrolling their kids in school, safety planning, and whether or not they have a place to sleep that night. And that's where Tiffany and her team come in. And with our social services team, we've been able to connect our clients to various social service agencies uh, based off our clients' needs. So for an example, during these trying times, we've had numerous of clients who needed help around rental assistance. Legal and social services were, be, were able to work with that client and, and helping to provide financial assistance to making sure that our clients were able to stay in their home for another month. So clients' cases have been lasting a long time. We have some in clients who are waiting until 2024 before they get the chance to even present their asylum case to an immigration judge. People who are applying for U visas are waiting 10 years for decision. What that means is we get to celebrate incredible milestones with our clients, so celebrated new births and graduations. But what that also means is that the dynamics change often and there are new problems, new issues, and things that develop that require social services and legal to partner with to make sure our clients feel supported with whatever comes our way. 
So with legal and social services programs, both working together to support all of our Tahere Houston clients by securing safety and justice in a collaborative and in a communicative manner, we've been able to make sure that our clients have a safe place to live by helping to provide rental assistance and by also ensuring that they can stay in their home through rental assistance by also working together in a collaborative manner and making sure that our clients also have food to eat, um, clothes to wear, and their basic human rights needs, which we know are all paramount and very important, especially under these trying times. It's not just the social services and legal departments working together. We also have an incredible development and communications team to help get our message across and an amazing advocacy team here in Houston, Texas, able to work with our local officials and the community to make change to better everyone's lives. And so with all of us uh, working together in a collaborative manner and empowering our clients to make decisions that would better help in assessing and connecting them to the legal and social services that they need, that they will need during these trying times. Whether it's Hurricane Harvey or a global pandemic, we're here to work with our community to better support our clients. So thank you for joining us tonight and I hope you enjoy the rest of the program. We'll be back to talk to you later, but until then, enjoy the show. Thank you, enjoy the show. Hello to everyone involved with the Tahare Justice Center. My name is Asia and I'm honored to be part of this event today. I'd love to tell you a little bit about my song for you, which is a song that I wrote in response to a lot of the women coming forward um, during the Me Too movement to speak about trauma that they experienced and um, to share their stories. And I was so inspired after watching the testimony by Dr. Christine Blasey Ford that I tried to go to sleep that night and I was having a hard time. And I got out of bed in the middle of the night and went to the piano and wrote this song. And it was uh, cathartic for me. And uh, the next day I ended up deciding to find someone to help me produce it and put it all together. And I found an amazing director named Vanessa Boletic. And we reached out on social media to women and said, if anyone would like to come forward and share their story by showing their face, who's experienced um, trauma like this, or wants to be an ally for someone that they love who's experienced trauma like this, uh, please come be part of our shoot and, you know, really put a face to this, to this cause. And so a lot of incredible, incredible, amazing women came forward and um, we made this video, which is all uh, real people. And, you know, we just did it in one day and it's all real people who share a common experience and uh, a love for one another. And by the end of the day, it was really healing experience and everyone exchanged their information and became friends. We had a trauma counselor on set that helped um, just kind of support everyone and be there if anybody needed to work through some big feelings. And it was a really powerful day. So I'm honored that Tahare Justice Center is um, doing the work that they do and that they thought to involve me. And I'm, I wish I could be there in person, but I um, fully back this organization. I think that what they're doing is phenomenal and I'm so proud to be part of um, any of their work. And I hope you like this song for you. Said all I had to say. You're gonna believe what you want anyway. I stare at the beast in the eye. I told him he could eat me up, but I wasn't gonna hide. And I'm gonna sleep well tonight Even if I lost the fight Someone had to take the hit So I did it For my sisters, for my mothers So we could find one another So my sons can be better 
than this For the girl afraid to speak You shouldn't have to turn the other cheek Though my voice shook the whole way through I did it for you 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 Wow, what a powerful song. We're so grateful for Asia for creating it and to all those survivors who chose to be part of it. It's truly impactful. And on behalf of all survivors of gender-based violence, we can do something important right now. We can make sure that Tahare has the resources they need to serve more people who cannot go down this path alone, who need the support of their brilliant attorneys and social service staff to navigate our incredibly complex legal systems, to seek safety from their abusers, to access critical support and resources like food, finding jobs, and enrolling their children in school. And of course, responding to the crisis like the one we're facing right now, COVID-19. Throughout this event, you will be receiving text messages if you have registered. And when you get those text messages, please consider supporting Tahare and the great work you have seen that they are already doing right here in our own community, right here in Houston. And if you haven't registered yet, good news, it's not too late. Just go to bidpal.net backslash journey to justice. Remember, you can bid on amazing sign auction items and you can donate. Whether it's $5, 5000 anything in between, you can make a difference right now. We can already feel your presence virtually. We're all here together. Hopefully soon we can all be together in real life. But just know that even virtually, your contributions are making an impact. Every dollar you donate to support resilient immigrant survivors in our city, your generosity, trust us, is changing lives. And speaking to the transformative power of Taha Ray's work, it is my honor to welcome Taha Ray Houston's senior staff attorney, Samantha Delboski, who will be narrating the story of one of her clients, a truly courageous voice. To protect the anonymity of Taha Ray's former client, the video you will see is a representation of her story. Please take a look. Hello. My name is Samantha Del Bosque, and I'm the supervising attorney at the Tahare Houston office. Tonight, I am honored to share with you 
and to give voice to the following words on behalf of a former Tahara Houston client with whom I had the privilege to work. Good evening and thank you to everyone who is joining tonight's virtual event in support of the Tahara Justice Center. I am a survivor and I was a client of the Tahara Houston office. When we arrived in the United States, I told my daughter, finally, we have a chance to live and be safe. But after a few days, my survival instinct kicked in and I realized that I must find legal assistance to be able to work and start an independent life. I started a journey in search for legal assistance with a private attorney who needed $5,000 down to work on my case. I did not have the money, so I gave up. But the reality of life kicked in and I started thinking about my case again. So I went to the YMCA for legal assistance. They listened to my case and they handed me a flyer for the Tahare Justice Center. After my screening interview at Tahare, my case was accepted. I was so thankful and happy that Tahare could help me for free. I was assigned to a social worker who provided me information on clinics and community centers, libraries, and information for food and insurance assistance. They also connected me with doctors who provided me with physical and psychological evaluations. The social worker provided not only the Metro bus card, but also toys, books, clothes, shoes, dishes, gift cards, and encouraged me to get an appointment at the Hope Clinic for my personal checkup. During my case, I had a lot of appointments at Tahare. I always look forward to the appointments because those are the times that I could smile. It was like going to see my sisters. Everyone at the office cheered me up. All the hugs and all the conversations were uplifting. There were many times I wanted to give up and did not want to continue with my case. Some days it was too painful to remember everything I went through before I got here. But Tahari gave me the support to continue. They did not give up on me. For three months, my team at Tahari continued to work with me until I received my work permit. The work permit gave me a new beginning and helped to get a contract job. After one year, Tahari worked with me and filed a green card, and then I was employed full-time. The job stability gave me an opportunity and privilege to secure a mortgage. I am now taking MBA classes. I would not have been able to be where I am today if it was not for the Tahiris team dedication to provide legal, social, and moral support. I am extending my heartfelt and deepest gratitude to everyone at Tahare for their moral, social, and legal support at the time I needed most. When I was at the lowest point of my life, I don't know where I would be without you, all the support you gave me. I will always be thankful and I love you all. Hi again, this is Tiffany, Social Service Program Manager with Tahare Justice Center Houston. Uh, during this time, I were, we went from talking about how we did our work to now talking about what COVID, how and COVID, COVID impacted our work and our clients. During this pandemic, we have seen the devastation that COVID has left um, in our communities and particularly our clients from clients and their families not being able to make rent, to being evicted from their, their homes, to families worrying about their next meals, to families losing their jobs because of COVID-19. We are now gonna transition from talking about how we do our work to now sharing a bit more of how COVID has impacted our clients. Like for many of you, March has brought a whole lot of changes to our office, including figuring out how to do our work in a client-centered, trauma-informed way but from home. <laughs> Even though immigration courts are closed, immigration deadlines still exist and cases still need to move forward. So we have to figure out how to work with our clients in a way that protects both them and us. But there are a lot of changes in the community as well. Domestic violence is on the rise. There's a lot of instability. Within the first month of working from home, our staff, everyone working together, was able to reach out to 
all of our clients, which there are about 600 at this point, to check in and see how they're doing. We assessed whether they had housing needs and what issues they were facing at the time, whether they had tested positive for COVID and what their concerns were so that their mental health was also getting addressed. For example, our clients are essential workers. They're there cleaning hospitals, oftentimes without sufficient PPE. We've had clients getting sick with COVID and having concerns about who they should turn to and what to do about their kids when they're homesick. Clients have lost jobs because they've had to stay home after getting COVID and needed referrals for, to know more about their employment rights. And with the help of our community partners, such as the Greater Houston Community Foundation and other supporters, we were able to distribute close to over $200,000, which went towards rental and financial assistance of our clients. And we were also able to distribute over 150 masks to clients and their families. We wanted to highlight many of our clients are considered essential workers who from the very beginning of this pandemic have continued to work and have worked nonstop in food industries, elder care, and hospitals. Our local public policy and advocacy team has been incredibly hard at work during this pandemic as well. From working to stop evictions to addressing other immediate needs that are facing our community, our public policy team is advocating for all of us, not just our clients. Some of these are short-term solutions, but the impact is going to last for a long time. But that's why we're here, and that's why we need your help. Thank you again for joining us, and thank you for your time and support. Now, those are some dedicated uh, staff members, so important. Despite all the challenges you saw that they have to go through, Takare staff in Houston across the U.S. has hit some major milestones in 2020. Even with the immigration courts closed and all those other challenges, they were able to help more than 100 immigrant survivors obtain work permits. That's transformative. That makes the difference between being able to provide for themselves and their families and being able to live in a safe, dignified way. And to part of the work for Tahare involves making sure that we are supported by our local elected officials. Happy to tell you we have lots of support from the Houston region, including Harris County Commissioner Precinct 1 Rodney Ellis, who was a longtime state senator before becoming commissioner a few years ago. And he is an active cyclist, active community leader, but what's most important for us is he provided us with a resolution emphasizing his support, which says in part that Harris County Precinct 1, headed by Commissioner Ellis, is committed to improving the quality of life, advancing of equality of opportunity, and to promote the fair treatment of all people in Harris County. Precinct 1 recognizes that Takare Justice Center's services and advocacy for immigrant women and children have been critical during the COVID-19 pandemic and has been proud to lead the creation of several county funds that support survivors of violence and vulnerable residents in our communities. On this journey to justice, Harris County Precinct 1 is proud to reaffirm its support of the Tahare Justice Center. Thank you so much, Commissioner Ellis. And now, I am pleased to introduce Guadalupe Fernandez, the Policy and Advocacy Manager for the Tahare Justice Center Houston office. Hi everyone, I am Guadalupe Fernandez and I am Tahare Houston's Policy and Advocacy Manager. I am thankful for the heart and generosity of our sponsors and supporters and all who made this virtual event a reality. Though we cannot celebrate in person, I'm grateful that we have been able to put together a safe and special way to celebrate the bravery of Houston's immigrant survivors and the dedication of our staff. Your tenacity, expertise, and compassion makes it a privilege to work alongside you. Thank you. As a proud daughter of immigrants, I am continually inspired by our migrant community and the resiliency of the survivors we serve. They are on a journey to justice and we are all here to walk that journey with them. At Tahare, we believe that we all share the responsibility for each other and for the common good. The strength of Houston depends on the vibrancy and cohesiveness of our diverse community. The benefits and burdens of society should not depend on what we look like or where we come from. Equality means celebrating our differences while challenging stereotypes and breaking down barriers. These values are part of our human rights the rights we all have simply by virtue of our humanity. 
At this moment in time, we are all experiencing both the rapid spread of COVID-19 and the systemic response to it, which has exposed structural injustice and inequity in new and profound ways. The barriers that my colleagues fight against every day on behalf of our clients are threats to our entire community's safety and health. The recent onslaught of anti-immigrant rhetoric and policies ignore our country's principles of due process and fairness for the survivors in our community. The policies that continue to exclude immigrant families fail to protect Houston's health, safety, and well-being. But as we've seen time and time again, when disaster strikes, Houston bands together and faces these challenges head on. We are unafraid, we are strong, and we are making progress. Supporting immigrant survivors means protecting their right to access services for themselves and their family. Protecting these rights means ensuring freedom from discrimination and protecting housing, education, and healthcare for all. We are fighting together to foster a healthy and thriving Houston. We must continue to move forward. Tahari's local policy and advocacy work helps maintain safety for everyone in our community, regardless of their status. 95% of Tahere Houston's clients were excluded from federal assistance available through the COVID relief packages. So we got our county to step in to meet immediate needs of our community in the absence of federal and state intervention and support. We are continuing to work with our community to solve the ongoing housing crisis so we can ensure that no one is left behind. We are fighting for healthcare that is accessible to everyone, regardless of immigration status. We are banding together to support each other through these difficult challenges. We are working at all levels, individual, systems and policies, and social, to make the kind of long-term change that is inclusive and widespread. Now is the time to be bold. It is within our grasp to ensure that everyone lives in a healthy, safe, and accessible Houston. It's immigrant survivors alongside our staff, advocates, and allies like you who are making that possible. We call on you to join us in our call for policies for a healthy and safe Houston for all of us. Thank you so much, Guadalupe. You're absolutely right that we are all in this together, and this is why we're here tonight. One of the many things that has always impressed me about Tahare is an organization is their stewardship and their transparency. There are so many ways your money makes a difference. Look at the screen right now. $5,000 helps an immigrant survivor fleeing violence by covering their annual costs of their legal and social services. $2,500 covers the cost of a survivor to safely and legally reunite with their child who is abroad. $1,500 covers the cost of training for 200 attorneys from a nation's top law firms to provide free, specialized legal services to immigrant survivors seeking refuge in the U.S. And I want to mention Aiken Gump, a top-tier law firm who has been a continued supporter here. $1,000 purchases 20 pay-as-you-go cell phones to connect clients facing forced marriages or other forms of violence with a Tahare staff person who will help them navigate their way to safety. $500 secures emergency housing for immigrant survivor and their child fleeing violence. $250 covers three hours of translation services to provide immigrant survivors with legal options in their native language, which is so important. And 100 bucks, well, that ensures a doctor's visit for a survivor. So you can imagine, giving at any level truly makes an impact. And I want you to think about the last time you spent a couple hundred dollars. Now, given the pandemic, a lot of us have been staying home. You may not have been out shopping for clothes or uh, even having a cup of coffee. Well, that all adds up. In fact, you didn't have to get dressed up for tonight. Think about the money you would have spent to buy perhaps a new outfit. So maybe just putting $250 toward Tahare will make a huge difference. It provides three hours of translation services to provide immigrant survivors with legal options in their native language. Now our legal system is complicated enough in English. Imagine trying to navigate the system in all these different languages without assistance. That's the difference $250 dollars can make. And firms like Aiken Gump and, and all these other top tier firms that volunteered their attorneys, that's really appreciated. But the 
training that Tahare provides is really the crucial difference maker to making sure uh, those women and their children get to stay in America. Now, I know many of you are parents. Imagine being thousands of miles away from your child because you had to flee for your life to seek safety. And now, what would you give to make sure you are re reunited with your own child? $2,500 covers the cost for a survivor to safely and legally reunite with their child who may be overseas and may be in a dangerous situation. Think about that. It's easy to get caught up in our day-to-day -day survival, small things, but imagine the incredible impact something like that has on a person's life, on multiple lives. That's a gift that you can give right now. That and so much more. So please be generous and donate to make a difference. Right now, we have $23,000 raised, including donors like Benjamin and Nicole and Peter and Chris LaFollette and Jennifer. So we surely appreciate your generosity. We'd like to see your name up there as well. Remember, you can go to bidpal backslash journey to justice. We want to thank all of you so much for showing such wonderful support for immigrant survivors of violence in our community. We greatly appreciate your generosity and please continue to contribute through this evening. Remember, we have amazing silent auction items and don't forget, if you register, at the end we have a drawing for an amazing painting. Next, we have a couple of very special guests with some special messages for you. Hi everyone. My name is Yanni King Monshine and I'm so excited to be here with you. I'm joining you all the way from Los Angeles, California. You know, when we talk about wanting to achieve equality for all of us, I think it's important for us to understand and remember that we are all inherently equal, but we're not being recognized by our society equitably or treated as such. Growing up in New York City, I had been involved in social justice work since I was 14 years old. And even at that young age, I saw the importance of championing the voices of those people that looked like me or belonged to the LGBTQ community or the disabled community. I saw that amplifying those voices is how we foster the incredible work that needs to be done to create systemic change. And that's one of the reasons I was drawn to the work of the Tahrir Justice Center. Their commitment to fighting for the rights, safety, and equity of women and girls, and their passion in being relentless in that charge. Gender-based violence and systemic racism go hand in hand, and they hold us back as a whole. Your generosity tonight will interrupt those damaging cycles and support the remarkable survivors whose courage uplifts us all. It is paramount that we continue to empower those standing up to racism and fighting inequity. And it is an honor for us to keep pushing forward alongside them. Thank you. Hi, everybody. I'm Parisa Fitzhenley. I'm excited to be here tonight, and I'm excited that you're here because it means that we're ready to face the hard questions, to look for deeper meaning, and to figure out what it means to make real and lasting change. It can be tiring and tough, but here we are doing this together. I learned about the work of the Tahereh Justice Center from friends who are involved in community service. I was so grateful to know that there were people helping some of the most vulnerable members of our human family who have been facing peril on all sides and who desperately need support. The bottom line is we are all one. We are all the human race. Achieving equality is not some pipe dream. It's fully within our ability, but we need to show up and do the work. Sometimes it helps to have experts and advocates who've dedicated their lives and careers to justice, to walk with us on that path, to help us understand where to focus our efforts. That's where the Tahereh Justice Center comes in. By elevating the voices of immigrant survivors in communities, courts, and Congress, they are helping to create a world where all people share equal rights and live in safety with dignity. Tahereh Houston even developed a pilot program to address complaints of inefficiencies and biases by judges in Houston's immigration courts by utilizing staff and volunteers to conduct a rigorous evaluation of those courts. On a local and on a national scale, their holistic services are building a world rooted in compassion, equity, and tolerance. That is a world that I want to live in. I know you do too. 
And yet, right now, they can only protect one out of every 10 immigrant survivors who reach out to them for help. We can change that. We will change that. Because we believe in the possibility of a world where everyone is free from violence and oppression, where everyone has equal access to justice. Thank you for being committed to helping us build that world step by step. Hi again, everybody. I'm Jason Ryan, Senior Vice President of Regulatory and Government Affairs at Centerpoint Energy. And with me again tonight uh, is Monica Caraturi, Senior Vice President and General Counsel at Centerpoint Energy. We're the proud co-chairs of Tahereh's Journey to Justice virtual event. We at Centerpoint support Tahereh because we are inspired by the courage and bravery of Tahereh's clients and the passion that its staff demonstrates in the fight for justice. This event is possible thanks to all our generous supporters. We'd like to send special thanks to our hero sponsor, Arnold Ventures, and to our fellow champion sponsors, Aiken Gump and Baker Boss, who have a special message for everyone here tonight. Hi, my name is Tyler Conti from Aiken Gump, and I'm a Tahere supporter. I support Tahere because I believe in their mission, and I've seen firsthand the positive impact it can have on people's lives. What I find most meaningful about Tahere's work is the dedication that everyone that works there shows to their clients. And people should give to Tahere because we need it more than ever during these difficult times. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Chris LaFollette with Aiken Gump, Strauss, Howard, and Feld. First and foremost, I hope you are each healthy and navigating these very challenging times. Tonight, we are here to help Tahare support immigrant girls and women who are fleeing gender-based violence and persecution. I helped Tahare open their Houston office many years ago, and I still give my time on the advisory council, my resources, and my prayers. We are each so blessed, and I find supporting Tahare a meaningful way to impact our community. Please join me with your support. I appreciate your thoughtful consideration, and I hope you stay safe and well. Good evening. Hi, my name is Christina Vu from Baker Botts, and I'm a Tahereh supporter. I support Tahereh because I believe the work they do is crucial, especially given today's current immigration climate. What I find most meaningful about Tahereh's work is that they empower women who've been through extremely traumatic experiences and help them build a better life. People should give to Tahere because they really do make a tremendous difference in so many women's lives, but they can only do the work they do with your support. Hi, my name is Brooke McNabb. I'm a lawyer with Baker Botts in Houston, and I'm a Tahere supporter. I support Tahere because of the incredible work it does to provide justice for women and girls who have experienced extreme forms of gender-based violence. What I find most meaningful about Tahere's work is that Tahere helps women and girls it serves rebuild their lives into the lives that they choose. People should give to Tahere because in doing so, you are helping to protect and deliver justice to the deserving women and girls that Tahere serves. It's encouraging to know that all of us here tonight are committed to challenging oppression and creating an inclusive environment free from violence, pandemic or no pandemic. We've seen we have the agency, the ability and the drive to create a better and more equitable world for everyone. And we're so grateful to our dedicated supporters and sponsors like yourselves who have provided some of these exciting auction items to raise much needed funds. I mean, look at that. Hamilton on Broadway when Broadway reopens, which hopefully will be soon. We realize it's going to be a while, but you got to get the tickets now because it'll be sold out by the time Broadway reopens. Another four bedroom villa for a week in Belize, perfect for scuba diving and family fun. It's a short plane ride away. It's just among many of the amazing, amazing silent auction items. So make sure you bid high. Um, and 
As we have mentioned all night long, it's great to have so many supporters, and support from our elected officials is really crucial as well. Joining us with a message is State Representative Armando Wally, who, uh, besides being a state representative and a lawyer, is also the COVID-19 pandemic recovery czar here in Harris County, appointed by Judge Lena Hidalgo. Thank you, Maya, for that kind introduction. And thanks to all of you for being with us on this journey for justice. As a proud Houstonian, as someone who cares deeply about our fellow human beings, I want to emphasize how important the Tahirir Justice Center's work is for the future of our society. Right now, Tahirir stands alone as the only national multi-city organization providing a broad range of direct legal services, policy advocacy, and training and education to serve survivors of violence and others fleeing gender-based violence. I had the pleasure of attending law school with my good friend, Lauren Fisher Flores, who is Tahirir's staff attorney. But most recently, I've been able to work alongside Guadalupe Fernandez, who is Tahirir Center's policy and advocacy manager on the Housing Stability Task Force. Look, we know that COVID-19 has demonstrated uh, to our nation, but particularly to our community, the disparities in responding to folks in a global pandemic and being able to protect vulnerable communities like our immigrant communities. So whether it's safety from violence or support during a pandemic, this is widely recognized as a basic human right. We must act now to keep the doors open to safety and dignity, to reaffirm what we stand for as a community, but also as a nation. Thanks so much, Representative Wally. Next, I'd like to introduce the former police officer, city council member, then sheriff, and now he is your Harris County Commissioner, Precinct 2. Commissioner Adrian Garcia. Thank you, Maya, for that very kind introduction. And I want to welcome everyone to this year's Tahereh's Justice Center's annual gala, Journey to Justice. You know, this is the single most important event that Tahereh does in order to raise those critical dollars necessary to help immigrants who are seeking justice and freedom. And I know that this year with the pandemic has been very complicated for all of us. But I will tell you that I remain a fan of Tahereh since my days as the sheriff of Harris County and since they opened their doors here in Houston. And so your generous contribution is so valuable because it will go to touching lives, it will go to changing lives, but most importantly, it will go to saving lives. So do what you can. I know that the pandemic has been difficult, but do what you can. These dollars are critical. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Commissioner Garcia. Thank you for your dedication to our immigrant communities and to survivors of gender-based violence. The journey to justice is a difficult one, of course. The more we walk this path together, the sooner we will reach a point where all people are equally uplifted in our country. On that note, we want to share a very special performance and a massive thank you to all those who are choosing to join us on this journey. Introducing multi-platinum singer and songwriter and, most importantly, longtime friend of Tahare, Andy Grammer. Tahare family, what's up? Andy Grammer here sending you guys so much love. Um, this organization has always been something that has been really close to my heart. I was raised by a really powerful mother who instilled in me in every chance that she got about the equality of men and women. And uh, we are still not there. So to have organizations that are fighting for that cause uh, in a myriad of ways, this one specifically in really dire situations, I will always do anything I can to be a part of it. So, you know, along those lines, I just had another daughter. I'm the dad of two daughters now, which is gooey and so sweet. Her name is Israel Blue. She's really cute. And um, I just have a lot of love, love for all of you and for anyone that supports this donate this uh, organization. There's a special place in heaven, I think. I think that there's a special place in heaven and then there's like a, a there's a, a VIP section for all the people that have worked at Tahare or that have donated Tahare. So you probably want to donate at some point to this organization. It's incredible. 
Um, there have been a lot of really sweet things throughout this quarantine that have made us come together. One of the scarier ones that I've heard about is uh, there's been like more domestic violence I've, I've heard. And I'm sure that's all around the world. And I'm, so I'm sure that lends itself to more women that are in need of help. And uh, anything we can all do to, to give our funds, effort, energy behind the Tahrir Justice Center always. And we should never stop doing it. And in honor of that, I will sing a song called Don't Give Up On Me. And uh, I will never give up on you, Tahrir, and anyone that supports Tahrir. Here we go. I love you. I will fight. I will fight for you. I always do until my heart is black and blue. And I will stay. I will stay with you. We'll make it to the other side like lovers do. I'll reach my hands out in the dark and wait for yours to until I can wait for you. I'll wait for you. Mm. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up, giving up no night. Even when I'm down my last breath. Even when they say it's nothing left So don't give up on me I'm not giving up I'm not giving up, giving up, no, not me Even when nobody else believes I'm not going down that easily So don't give up on me And I will hold I hold on to you No matter what this world will throw It won't shake me loose mm -hmm. And I'll reach my hands out In the dark and wood for yours too Until I can wait for you I'll wait for you I'm not giving up, giving up no money Even when I'm down to my last breath Even when they say there's nothing left So don't give up on me I'm not giving up I'm not giving up, giving up no money Even when nobody else believes I'm not going down that easily so don't give up on incredible organization. Please, please, please. I love you. Thank you, Andy, for uplifting and inspiring us all. Thank you all for joining us tonight. My name is Liz Shields, and I'm Tahara Houston's Deputy Director, serving as Interim Executive Director. And I'd like to thank Monica Corturi and Jason Ryan for co-chairing this year's event and for the countless hours of their hard work to make this event a success by rallying so many Houston community leaders to sponsor tonight's event. And to our sponsors, thank you for your support of our mission to provide the necessary funds to elevate the voices of the immigrant survivors of violence here in Houston, especially under the current circumstances. And a special thanks to our Houston Advisory Council members. I'm so proud to call Houston home. I'm in awe of my colleagues who are providing emergency relief services and direct support to those in our community who are hurting throughout this pandemic. I'm humbled to witness their efforts and those of courageous immigrant survivors to strengthen our city's ability to work together and protect one another. 
I'm thankful for the trust that Houston has in us as critical partners in uplifting our city as a whole and being nimble and skillful enough to meet the new and ever-changing needs presented by this pandemic. When we stand together, there's nothing we can't achieve and no problem we can't solve. Look at what we're capable of when we refuse to be divided. I've seen the empowerment and joy that comes when immigrant survivors are granted a work permit and can support themselves and their family. When survivors are able to access healthcare and can advocate for themselves with community resources, the effect on their lives is transformative. I've witnessed the difference it makes to have Tahere present when local and state officials make important decisions on policies and legislation to ensure that they, there aren't unintended negative consequences for the immigrant community. I've watched as immigrant survivors rebuild their lives and after everything they've gone through, they keep moving forward. They keep all of us moving forward. It's a chain reaction, an unstoppable journey, and we're all a part of it. By joining us tonight, you are taking steps towards equality for all, toward ending gender-based violence. We are one Houston, and when one of us is hurting, we are all hurting. The funds we raise tonight will make it possible for our staff to meet the increased needs of those we serve. It will allow us to provide ongoing emergency response services and support immigrant survivors who are ending violence your contributions ultimately build a safer, more equitable community where we all can thrive, regardless of race or national origin. Your commitment tonight tells all those who continue to withstand injustice that we value their lives. We hear them, we see them, and we will continue to stand and work alongside them. Because we're Houston, we're Tahere, that's what we do. I'd like to thank our phenomenal event host, Maya Shea, our co-chairs, host committee members, advisory council members, sponsors, donors, and all of you for sharing your evening with us. To everyone involved in tonight's program, your message will stay with us. On behalf of Tahari staff and clients across the nation, we're so grateful for your support. We thank each one of you for tuning in and supporting us tonight. Thank you, Liz. Well, this is it. We're closing in on the end of the evening, folks, but that does not mean you have to stop having a good time supporting Tahare. So far, $26,000 raised, but you can continue to donate. We appreciate Nicole and Peter Oxman and Chris and Jennifer and everyone else who's donating right now. We want to remind you that you've witnessed so many stories of courage and resilience and responsiveness and unity, and you've seen how dedicated and committed the staff and clients are for building a better and more equitable future as we move forward. And together, we can create lasting change. Finally, to every survivor of violence who may be watching, your strength and resilience fortifies all of us and gives us the energy to continue this work to help build a future we want for our communities. And to everyone watching, don't forget, you can still contribute after this event ends, I know, from the comfort of your home. The silent auction will be open until Monday, October 12th. Costa Rica getaway, anyone? We have Thailand, you have the Rockets, the Astros, Ultimate Chef's Table. I know what I'll be doing after this. I'll be going home and actually logging on. I hope you will join me. And now I want to announce the winner of, yes, the Patrick Medrano painting. Everyone who registered at the donate link this evening was automatically entered. Congratulations, Leah Burkett of Austin, Texas. What a beautiful addition to your home. Tahare staff will be contacting you with more information about your prize. We hope you take your good luck and contribute it to the silent auction by joining and perhaps bidding on just one more thing. Thank you to our crew tonight from Vision Productions and Learner Productions who have done an amazing job. Don't we all look great? And to keep us safe, to bring this all to you in the comfort of your own home. A massive Houston thank you to everyone who joined us tonight and to everyone who has rededicated themselves to supporting immigrant survivors of gender-based violence. This journey to justice is possible thanks to you. And that is our show tonight. Stay healthy, everyone. Have a wonderful evening. Let us leave you on this note. Thank you.
Muchas gracias. Tu sintak. Maraming salamat po. Thank you. Namasignalan. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Mil gracias de todo corazón. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Merci. Maraming salamat po. Thank you. Jenkuya Barzo. Thank you so much. Thank you. Gracias. gracias. Sí, sí. Thank you. Muchísimas gracias. MSC en pie. Thank you so much. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you so much. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Merci. Thank you. Gracias.